This is the Team Objection Podcast for September 26th, 2019, episode 408. And we have a treat for you this week. Ha <laughs> ha. What is it? <laughs> yeah, Sean doesn't know because he hasn't seen the planner. Dave put together an episode. What I a treat! This whole thing, I yeah. know. Oh, what a treat! I put together an episode like the olden days, like because we have you know our three people back together, and we the have OG an old school group. episode. Yeah, yeah, kind of. So this is what I think we should do. We should run the old shows with a new coat. We've all we've all uh, grown and learned from, you know, the last few years, become more professional. Or less professional, too. Can you tell me what's going on with your hair there, Sean? Yeah, I don't know. I got a massage today. Ah, and it that. just kind of got a... left like... Uh, <laughs> it looks like a dead or alive character. It looks cool. <laughs> I don't have them work on my head, and that's part of the I reason why. Because a lot of times I have to go right before work, so I'm always worried like I'm going to look really stupid when I go to that 2.30 meeting. Because I leave mm. there, and I'm like... Pachoo. Yeah, I did that. I went to work with this, and... You know... Yeah. I didn't get too many that's, looks. I've, I've never had a massage that's got the top of my head. I always get like just oh the my back God, of Dave, my head. Dave, you're top missing out. I, I asked don't... specifically for the top of my head. Now I'm like, I know it doesn't do a lot, but please spend at least five minutes doing just my head. <laughs> See, I'm all massages are all neck and like shoulders. That's like where I need my. I massages. mean, I like that too, but you got to get the top of the head. That's where I have the worst tightness. So I need that. So I have them spend half the time on my back. Sometimes yeah. the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I do is pretty much the entire time on my back because I'm, I've got a bad back. But I'm getting into feet lately, and I know what that sounds like, but I've realized that that's like the best way for me to relax. The back stuff is just to help with you know muscle issues and all the other problems I have because I'm tall. And that makes me feel better, but I don't relax during it because they're working out kinks, and it's not especially mm -hmm. pleasurable. It hurts, but I know it's good. The feet thing... The last few times I've gone, I've been like, this is really important now because it's the one time I can actually like kick back. Do you ever have a deep tissue massage? Those are the worst. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I will yeah. never do it again. It made me physically sick. Yeah. Uh, borderline. It was awful. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. And it's not relaxing at all, which I desperately need now in my position. It's my one chance to kind of escape for an hour. I turn my phone off. It's about the only time I do. I really mm -hmm. don't ever do it besides that. I don't do I... it when I sleep. So it's nice to have that hour away. Man, I don't know. I don't. I've never. I'm not squirmish about my feet. I just don't find that enjoyable. I love it. Really? I've yeah. never found it enjoyable. Get all up in my like, feet. Man. It feels great. Hmm. Hmm. It's not in the bad. Like I, I know some people are like, don't touch my feet. I hate it. But I I don't know. It's never, getting, never been done anything for me. Eh. Different strokes for different folks. Yep. Eh, strokes. Apparently this week's going to be pun week. I said the, the, uh, the thing I did in the very beginning because Dave put together a whole bunch of stuff about sweets. So it was quite mm -hmm. the treat to oh. have the... Oh. The, he has I'm an episode that... title that he proposed. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not yet. You'll see by the time this airs. What's the episode title? On oh. Sweetness. Oh. Wow, wow. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's a Jimmy Eat World song. So it kind of flows together. I don't know. I'm still okay, it's one of our articles. On. Jimmy Eat World? Yeah. Oh. What's wrong with them? Okay, well, then, okay. You have a little more credit now. Yeah. I thought you were just saying, just like, yeah, it's a Jimmy Eat World song. I'm like, cool. Where's the crossover? But you just said it, so that's fine. <laughs> Jimmy Eat World, eat sweets <laughs> in the world. Yeah, you got We're it. We're off to a really just bang and start. I don't know what far. happened. This is why Dave can't plan episodes. Look what happened. All right, Dave, you have a chance to redeem yourself. Go ahead and introduce the first article. All right, so the first article is a good old, from the good old UK, where in a situation, a restaurant ruins, in quotes, the groom's proposal after giving the bride-to-be a dessert reading, Will your marry me? So this is just a situation where somebody was trying to be cute and propose their girlfriend in a restaurant and have the restaurant write on a plate, Will you marry me? But they wrote the words, Will your marry me? Y-O-U-R. Yeah, okay. So let me ask something. When we say ruin, what do we mean ruin? Did she say No. As far as I know, uh, it doesn't like it doesn't say that they uh, that they broke up or not. It was just uh, they tried to present it, and someone posted on social media saying, "Will your marry me?" And people commented on it because that's the world we live in nowadays. It says she still said yes. So so ruin it actually means not at all. 
<laughs> it was fine, in fact. Essentially. That's why it was in quotes. <laughs> yeah. And that's, this is the sun. I mean, this is what we get from some of the UK tabloid style newspapers. And yeah. we do some of their articles in the past, too, because they make mountains out of molehills. Uh, it's funny to me how people react. Like, first of all, like, I guess the, the reason that this even got out is because the girl posted on social media with her ring and said that she said yes. But, and then people commented in, like, Oh, am I tripping, or does that say, "Will you marry me"? I, if I was the guy, I'd be pissed. Yo, I, I have know. a few questions. That's a, so that's a bizarre typo to make for the on the restaurants side, yeah. like uh, just including another R, and no one caught it. Did he not see? I, I okay, I can see him not seeing it. Yeah, you're in the moment. You're trying to do something quick, and then it's a surprise. You're probably not seeing it until it's delivered. So is it the biggest issue here? And I know we've probably talked about it before, but like proposing in this manner where like you're having someone else deliver the message, like shouldn't, I feel like this can't be a someone else says it for you almost. Uh, I mean, I get that to some extent. I guess skywriting has the same potential problem if your pilot's illiterate. But that's <laughs> the whole thing. You don't do skywriting or sweets or baseball game. All of these are bad. All the things that the movies would have you have you believe are good proposals are actually bad proposals. Yeah, I, I think just having somewhat of an intimate or not normal setting, something that's kind of a little more extravagant, and having the question asked directly, where you can like look into someone's eyes and say it, is more important than trying to be cute with the dessert. I think. Here's what you gotta do: take a girl up in a hot air balloon. There's a riddle in the bag. She reads it. You have to dive off, scuba dive into a clamshell. In the clamshell is the ring. And then you're holding a sign. This is, will you marry me? And you're underwater and it's romantic. So you get from in the air in a hot air balloon to underwater by yeah. jumping out of the hot air balloon. And the message says, no matter the greatest heights or deepest depths, I love you. Now she probably dies from the jump. <laughs> <laughs> but Yo, that's you fine. <laughs> what, about, what about that guy who f pretended his plane was going down? Do you guys remember yeah. that? Mm -hmm. And then he's like, ah, oh, just kidding. Oh, Will well. you marry me? <laughs> Good. And she said yes! Yeah, that's the dumbest <laughs> one. Well, I get, doesn't that prove that it doesn't really matter how you ask? Like, it's the point of who you're with. Yeah, and the timing of it, and do you have an understanding between each other that, yeah, you're ready for the next step, not just, yeah. I'm going to spring this out of nowhere and just cross my fingers. She says yes. I think the I only time it matters days. is when you shouldn't be asking to begin with. Yeah. Like, if the girl's going to be like, I'm only saying yes to a balls-out proposal, then, like, it's probably not the right person. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I mean, I feel like sometimes... It's not romantic. It's not move like the movies, but like people who are just kind of look at each other and be like, "We should get married, shouldn't we?" Yeah. All right, let's go do it and like go to the courthouse. Sometimes those last the longest, as opposed to people who have these extravagant things, which is crazy. I'm gonna send my girlfriend to another country, ship myself in a box to that country, pop out of it on Christmas Day. <laughs> Will you marry me? Meanwhile, she's been texting you this whole time, like, "Where are you? Like, and you, I haven't. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, and you've suffocated to death. So." <laughs> Surprise! Should be noted, by the way, they also had an exclamation point instead of a question mark. So, not just will your marry me, but will your marry me? Boom! And it was just written on the exterior of a horizontal plate, like a rectangular plate. It was written on there with like icing or chocolate syrup or whatever the hell, who cares? It was just like a bowl of ice cream and there was like whipped cream on the side. It looks really cheap. Yeah. Like, so it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world to catch it and be like, oh, like, we need to redo that really fast. <laughs> like, it's like on a cake, like a huge cake. You're like, oh, I mean, it's an error, but what are we going to do now? Yeah, like, what was the yeah. point of all of it? It's one thing to put it on top of, like, a big cookie or a cake or something that actually has a surface area for a message. It's just on a fucking plate. Yeah, you want her yeah. to lick the plate? One of the comments on the that people were commenting on the Facebook post was literally like, just a quick wipe with the finger and it's good. Yeah. <laughs> like, just wipe off the R and you're all set to go. Just eat, just eat that R off your finger real quick and <laughs> you're good to go. You know what? Maybe it is a big deal. We talk a lot about this show uh, settling for mediocrity and she just settled. How easy would it have been to spell it correctly or to even fix it? 
I Everybody think... saw it was wrong. No one did anything. I, that's not the fact that she said yes is not settling for mediocrity. That's settling for a mediocre restaurant, possibly because no. they, should, they would have gotten a restaurant that could spell. She should have said no. Her kids are going to be weak. They're not going to have any resiliency. Well, I mean, is there a right way to do it for you, Sean? What's your dream way of proposing? Of proposing? I gave you two already. What else well, do you I want from yours. me? I mean, me being uh, proposed to? Be... Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the paper. Oh, God. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> getting hot under the collar. Someone takes me to a Suns game. In the middle of the game, they bring me real-life Gwent cards and start playing Final Fantasy music live on the piano. That's all I have so far. <laughs> That's pretty solid. I mean, at, no point, all the things. <laughs> at no point does anyone actually ask the question. <laughs> this is just things I'd like to have happen on a Thursday evening. It just combines all the things that you like in the world, which the Venn diagram on that for Ray, for most people are very small. Yeah, Devin Booker <laughs> and Geralt of Rivia show up. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's about all I have so far. At somewhere <laughs> along the way, someone's going to ask me to marry them, and I'm going to say probably yes. Are you sure like you're someone's going to ask you to marry them? I thought that's what we were doing. Well, I'm just saying you you just said you're pretty sure that someone is going to someday. Oh. No, I mean no, in the, eventually in this fantasy. Ah, yes. It's going to happen. <laughs> Am I being unromantic by saying that I would rather put more effort into the wedding than the proposal? And what I mean by that is like I wish more people would do custom vows or some other big gesture at the wedding, especially mm-hmm. because all your family and friends are typically going to be present for that. Then, I mean, some people will do that in an engagement, but to me, I'd rather do it in a spot where I know we're getting married and I want to show just how appreciative I am rather than going in on something that I may or may not be sure about and being like, well, I'm going to put all this effort in. And she said, no, fuck me. Yeah, Yeah. well, I would say I'll raise you one, Chris. I'll say skip the effort and the proposal and the wedding and just do an awesome honeymoon. That's where it's at. It's not a bad plan. It's just... The whole point of the wedding, I think, is really to celebrate with people. So, Who I mean, cares? if you hate people, then it's fine. I don't want to celebrate with people. I want to celebrate with my wife. Right. And that's well, it. Then that's your prerogative. Sir. All these people mooching off my food, <laughs> all the work that I put in, Man. the anxiety that I had to deal with asking, risking her saying no. I mean, that's true. What did they do? I was really hoping Nothing. one day that I'd be able to go to Sean's wedding and eat your awesome food that you'd have planned. No, you know? Dave, it's going to be just a party. It's not well, even the, a reception. Will there be food? Yes. Good. It'll right, be vegan Lebanese food. Damn it. I mean, I like half of that. Yeah, I mean, no, well, <laughs> vegan Lebanese food is good food. But all right, all right. meat Lebanese food is also good. Then that won't mm-hmm. be here. Uh, all but right, knowing my two. family, they'll probably have like a secret meat stash in the alley in the back, so you oh, can. Oh God, I hope so. Like some, you know, lamb or some, I don't know, something good. <laughs> I mean, I've been to dry weddings where there were secret stashes of alcohol, so it wouldn't surprise me if someone stashed a hot dog in their pocket for this. <laughs> yeah, but kafta, not a hot dog, but the same idea. Kafta is like a meat sh- uh, kebab, so. Hmm. It's a better pretty much hot like dog. a Lebanese hot dog. Yeah, it's a more refined, classy hot dog. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I want that. Yeah, you got to eat it with ketchup. Okay, so take everything is... nice and foreign and <laughs> exotic about it and Americanize smother it. it with ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Article Two, I have a question for you, Sean. Specifically, you, Sean. Okay. Do you ever find yourself staring at a menu in a restaurant and unable to decide what dessert you want to order? Let me think. Not really. You know, this is a funny story. Let me get comfortable. Well, um, because you answered yes, there is an <laughs> there is a, a pub might have come up with the perfect solution just for you. I thought you wanted a real answer from me. No, no I wanted. Hold to on, I don't want your segue. So I want to actually answer this now. Uh, for all the indecision I have, food is not typically typically one of it. Like, I'll go to a place and I usually know like what I want to get. Hmm. So, well, if you didn't know what you wanted to get and just couldn't decide so the committed to this cake versus pie, there's a place now that offers a cake or pie cooked inside of a cake. And it's freaky looking when I look at it. It looks like someone just like tried to throw moist cake on top of a 
very different. Chris is showing me right now. I'm intrigued by the I'm look try of and it. See if the camera will pick it up. Oh, that looks cool. Uh, if yeah, you can kinda. get the right textures, that would be really good. But if it is a soggy pie or dry cake, then it's ruined. But if you can get like the right, like the distinct texture of both, I'm down. And ice creams with it. It just it looks so depressing and you're right like if it could have the right texture it could be okay because you get kind of the moistness of the cake and the flakiness of the pie crust but it looks like it just wouldn't mix at all like it, no you're for, okay first of all let me back up here that is not a pathetic that's not like a kfc like corn mashed potato chicken bowl this looks like a match made in heaven kfc by the way is putting out a chicken sandwich with Krispy Kreme donuts as the buns. Excellent. From other news this week. Excellent. <laughs> it's a thought. It's, it's, it fits the sweet theme. You know, they might as well give up any pretense. Now, their picture looks great, but I'm sure the one you actually get is going to look nothing like it. Yeah. So, I, I guess the question first, we'll go around. Is there cake or pie? Which one is better? Cake. Cake. Pie. But really neither. So, here's the thing. I think the reason cake is better and is because of frosting. <laughs> it's like... He's gonna go to. Here's the thing, Sean. No matter what you say, the segue's happening. He's on a road that cannot be stopped. Did you want like we can leave if you want to just take the show? (laughs) What Uh, do I think is better? Pie. All right. Well, we can all agree, cake. This cake is better. Here's what I think. Uh, We we haven't missed a beat. Uh, But isn't cake? See, I like cake better because of the frosting, and this one has the pie and the frosting. So. I think I might like pie more in this instance. I think it's an, weird. In, it's an intriguing combination that I wouldn't mind trying because I'm not like against pie. I don't really like either yeah. one all that much, to be honest. I do think there's a temperature issue here. I think pie is best warm and cake is not. Cake is good warm? Mm. Depends. And if you get a good chocolate cake, it's very good warm. Here's my issue now that you asked. The pie is normally best as like fruity. And mm-hmm. cake is normally best as far away from fruit as you can get. That would be my issue. And cake is that, like chocolate, vanilla, excellent. Pie is like rhubarb, strawberry, apple. So, and that's part of the thing. And I don't like when you mix like chocolate covered cherries. Not good. I like cherry pie. I like chocolate cake. Chocolate cherry, not good. What so, about chocolate strawberry? Nope. I don't like Yeah, okay. This starts, starts to get to my other point is that you have the palate of like... Uh, I don't, I don't know, like a caveman. Like you and Chris both, you with your burgers with no buns or condiments. Dave with just steak off the grill, barely I, cooked. I put condiments. I put a mustard and lettuce and ketchup and mayonnaise. No, I know, but like you have the great American diet, both of you. So like, what you commenting on with this beautiful? marriage of flavors it's like it's 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 lost on you you can't yeah. even appreciate it well I, I mean unless i guess we're gonna make our own cake pie pike pike is that what we're gonna call it it's probably uh, kai. i like uh kai kai <laughs> i don't know there's not really a good mix pike is i don't know <laughs> it's what it's what it's what Ned Stark's head ends up on. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, Pike is not a lot of positive connotations with yeah. that. So we've, we, this is in the UK again, so we can't go here necessarily. So I guess we're going to make our own Kai. I guess I'm just going to have to imagine. Don't call it imagine. Kai, but... Okay, I'm yeah, just, just make it. Uh, give it to your... Have your pregnant wife make you some. Yeah, yeah. Get barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen and make me a pie, yeah, damn she's it. she's probably craving it. The problem with these type of things for me is like, why can't you just have both? Yeah, have half, like, like a smaller slice of pie. There's nothing each. stopping you from ordering a slice of pie and a slice of cake if you can't decide, and you don't have to mash them together in some horrible amalgamation. I don't need peanut butter that already has jelly in it. If I want peanut butter and jelly, I'll just make sandwiches with one of each on each bread. It's not fucking hard. I, although it is interesting when you go to a restaurant and get a dessert, I've noticed that the portions they give you in a dessert is so large that you want like two bites of it and you're done. Like, 
you can't finish a dessert on your own yeah. a lot of times. After most places already give you way too much food for the entree anyways. Now, maybe not by like our standards, me and Sean especially, we put away a lot of food. But like most people, when they go to a restaurant, are not having room for dessert. And mm-hmm. sure as hell not what they bring out for dessert. Yeah. Let me tell you a story, Dave. Okay. I used to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and get 30 boneless wings and a piece of chocolate cake to wash it all down. That's an odd mix of flavors. And that's the story. It, it really was. <laughs> but it was good. Uh, you get a little bit of milk for that chocolate. The point is, I am what you would call a connoisseur of food. <laughs> and you are like showing like a blind person the greatest work of art in the world. No offense to the blind person, but they can't appreciate it. And that's you. No offense to me. Uh, yeah. Well, then. Teach me your ways, Sean. Well, you got to start by expanding your diet a little bit. I'll eat anything. Uh, okay. All right. We'll find out. <laughs> you it. come visit me in Flagstaff for a week, and I will open. A, it'll be a whole new world. I'll be Aladdin. Yeah. You'll be Jasmine. We're going to go on a magic <laughs> carpet ride of flavor. <laughs> He's going to get me high and just, like, trick me <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Probably. You're flying on a carpet. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a thing he would do. Yeah, it does. Okay, show planner. What else do we got? That's the end of headlines, which That's was never formally introduced. I Good know, job, but Dave. Hey, so um, we're bringing it back now. Our old old style, keep an OG of deathmatch. That's our next segment. We're going to decide two things go in, one thing comes out, and we pick what's better. Okay. That's the, it. the first and, non-headline segment we ever done did. And the good part is since we have three of us, we're not going to make ties. We have to try to figure out, well, I guess both of them stay. <laughs> I can't decide so, between cake and pie. It's true. Cake is that pie. one of them? No, it pie is Pie wins. We well, already know it doesn't. We did this. Yeah, two already, or one. Yeah, it was already two cake, one pie. I completely ignored that's your pie vote. So, that's so sad. Uh, the first one I have is two different types of ice cream flavors, which... Honestly, it's difficult for me because these are my two most favorite ice cream flavors, and it's cookies and cream versus chocolate chip cookie dough. Why were these two selected? I'm just I'm just curious as to what went into this. Uh, honestly, it was on the planner from about five years ago, so I ran with it. Well, like, you know, are these the two most popular flavors? Is there some kind of, like, the 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 consciousness of the world gravitates towards these things like well, like what what went into this i would wager that the two most popular flavors with any toppings in them because the most popular flavor is vanilla and the second most popular flavor is chocolate and the third most popular flavor is strawberry which is why the neapolitan is so good <laughs> it's you gotta, fine you gotta eat that in like layers though yet you got to mix it. You got to finish one perfectly, and then you can move on to the next one. Hold on. So you eat the chocolate part, then eat the vanilla part, and then eat the strawberry part? Yeah, of course. And he's making so fun of not... you for your refined palate. Like, well, no, that's more refined. Ice cream. But you know what? I do it that way, too. Yeah. Uh, that's the best. And the same with candy corn, I which don't, is not good. I don't but... need chocolate, vanilla, strawberry as one flavor all at once. What does, that, what does that even do? It doesn't taste like anything at that point. You get a little hint of maybe each, but it tastes... Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, Dave. Yeah, you're not as cultivated as we are, or cultured. Uh, your taste buds are not as honed in. You probably are fine just sticking the whole thing in your mouth, like the, the barbarian you are. But Actually, Chris and I, we have a little bit more. Uh, our palates are a little more refined. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't, because you're cultivated. You're like grown. <laughs> we have cultivated our taste buds. <laughs> Uh-huh. Good save. Uh, Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream sucks. I'm going to say that out loud. No, what? What? Yep, it sucks. I don't no, like it. No, it does like not it. suck. Especially if you get it where it's nice and hard. So it's kind of like there's like it, you, it doesn't just like melt, like melt, fall apart in your mouth. That's Neapolitan the Neapolitan ice cream sucks when it's in those giant tubs because it's always horse shit ice cream and the strawberry is never good. Yeah, yeah. it's. You, I'm talking about the so like sandwich. A, yeah, but when you get it from like a party, like one of the laziest things people will do for a party is like, I'm going to get a tub of Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, that way yeah. there's something for everybody. Okay, yeah. Those are garbage. Sure. Yeah. But there are definitely situations where Neapolitan is good. But task at hand. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Cookies what? and cream. Cookies and cream and what? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh. Cookie dough. This one's better. Yeah. That was okay. easy. That is no other better answer than cookie dough. It's the uh, I like cookies and cream because it's like eating an Oreo in your ice cream. But cookie dough, I could eat tubs of cookie dough by itself easily. I just don't know what mood I would be in because like you get little pieces of the chip 
in the cookie dough. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what mood I would have to be in to want the cookies and cream and not just eat the cookie dough. Because it has everything I love about the cookies and cream, but also the dough. Well, you're, you're confusing the two because cookies and cream is merely basically Oreos inside a like, cream ice yeah, cream. Yeah, I mean, I know. Same idea. No, I'm aware. Okay. Well, man, this is way hey, easier. Dave, you're not going to come here talking to me about ice cream. I weigh more than I weighed more than you ever came close to. Don't forget that. Mm-hmm. So, I understand. Hey, he's throwing his weight around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't know why this is a pun episode. <laughs> I have a failed vote for cookies and cream. It's close. They're my two favorites too, actually. Um, although I also like mint chocolate chip. Mm. Um, what did we gain from this one, though? I'm just like, again, I come back to that question of like, what's better? Two of the best shows. You're like, we've now said our word. Like, no who was writing our show being like, we really want you to answer this burning question. Well, this of is the only downside of having changed this segment is because it used to be whatever one you didn't pick got jettisoned off into the sun. So it was still high stakes because you had to get rid of one of those really, really valuable things. Now it's just deciding which one's the best of the two that are really good. So it's like, well, okay, but. So if we launch off cookies and cream, does that mean that the cookie dough no longer has chips or cookies in it? No. No. Because those are Oreos. <laughs> Those are two very separate not, things. Not chips chocolate ahoy. chip cookie dough can still be a thing. <laughs> Oreos versus Chips Ahoy. Mini buzz <laughs> off. Go. Which funny is Ch Chips Ahoy loses. Oreo oh, wins. Yeah, it's Chips Ahoy. It doesn't even get to the match. Exactly. Okay. I'm glad we all agree on that. I it should be noted, although Oreos weren't part of the competition, they did this thing where it was like store brand cookies. And we had this whole half page of the newspaper for it. And they had people do a blind taste test of like 10 of them. You know, Chips Ahoy and Famous Amos and uh, what's the fancy ones? Um in the pepper pepperage pepper charm uh -huh. uh, and all those types of like store-bought cookies and chips ahoy was number one in the blind taste test and i was like huh they blind taste tested uh <laughs> what? yeah no that's I, even the grandma's cookies are way better than chips ahoy that's correct that wasn't in there yeah. either but still <laughs> anyways point being i just wanted to see where everybody was at because if you don't pick oreos over chips ahoy i i don't know if we can continue the show no, I think the best store cookie, they have to be some kind of cream in it. And I know it's not really cream, like in the Oreo. It's some, like, uh, artificial, uh, horrible garbage mess. That's somehow but... vegan. Yeah. <laughs> but you need to have that in the too. best cookies. That All the best cookies have some sort of that element. Store-bought, at least. Ever, have you ever made a cookie wrapped around an Oreo? No. Like, you take cookie dough, you wrap it around an Oreo, and you bake it. No, that sounds really good. The close I've had it to that is, really is those, like, Christmas Oreos, where it's, like, the, the fudge. fudge dipped. Yeah, which yeah are my those are delicious. Those that, are that's really That's a holiday good. tradition if I have one. I get a box of those yeah. every year. Just yeah. one. Any more than that is too sweet for me, but I get the one. I eat, like, one at a time. <laughs> and they last me, you know, most of Advent. Great. Eh? It's perfect. That's your little Advent box. So yeah. up the Oreo there's there's only, like, nine in there, so it doesn't really work great for the 24 concept, See, but whatever. we're so different. I eat all of it at once. I get like a box of peanut brittle, gone. I might have done that 10 years ago. Nowadays, I can't eat sweets in that quantity. It's I yeah, recently ate a whole box of lemon Oreos. That doesn't sound good at all. It, it was good, and hmm. fuck you. I bet if you like lemon, it's good. <laughs> That's true. It's, I'm, I'm kind it's, of... it's really because it's like the white cookie, right? It's not like they're mixing chocolate and lemon. That would yeah, be weird. Yeah, it's, yeah, the, no it's, a white, it's like the golden Oreo, but with a lemon zing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You wouldn't right, understand. Next... You, that's what I'm saying. You don't have the diversity of your palate. I get it. I understand. I only it. It like, uh, like Chips it. Ahoy and a uh, regular or. So here's a that's better you. argument. All right. These are two very opposite things, but similar in their own way. Skittles versus M and M's. Horrible to mix them together. Just an awful trick to pull on somebody. Never but... do that. I have a question. What okay. kind of M and M's? Yes. Plain. We're going just plain old chocolate. Well, well that's not fair because I only eat peanut M and M's, or peanut I've butter M and M's. What about tropical pretzel. Skittles? M and M's. Here's the thing, Dave. Pretty much, you chose the worst M and M's against just regular Skittles. Okay, like tropical so... Skittles, they're just Skittles that like taste a little different. So, okay, if you if you want to include this, we will include all of Skittles, all the different flavors of Skittles versus all the different flavors of m They don't show up. They're murdered before they get to the to the handoff mm -hmm. again. Who is? The Skittles. Yeah. They're, they're going uh, to the drug deal. 
and they're like all nervous. They get killed in the hotel room before it even happens. <laughs> yep. Just a sniper picks them all off. In <laughs> yeah. The Whereas M- even... M&Ms are the drugs because everybody loves them, so they're highly sought after. Nobody even cares about Skittles. They're a footnote of history. Yeah, M&Ms are like, you're going to disrespect us? Us? By trying to do a deal with us, Skittles? So I'm just seeing the yellow M&M, the tall peanut yellow M&M with a rifle in his hand taking out all the Skittles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Skittles. He's scalping the Skittles, too. You don't think if they could do that with those M&M characters, if they could get away with murdering Skittles, they wouldn't do that as an ad campaign? I mean, theoretically, you murder the M&Ms when you eat them anyway. So whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I gotta take, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We could have done this against almost any candy, and M&Ms are going to have a shot in almost any of them. I'm trying to... Butterfinger? I prefer M&Ms. God, no. The awful oh, no. laughter residue is terrible. Yeah. Uh, nope. Let's hey, see. M&Ms. Uh, I mean, like... Nestle Crunch beats M&M for me, but that, mm-hmm. that's like my absolute favorite. Yeah, I don't even get that. Now, if you start saying the white cookies and cream, Nestle Crunch, okay, well then that one's up there for me. Yeah, maybe, but like the juggernauts, like the most respect, it's like the two biggest crime families. What you did is like a biggest crime family and the janitor, <laughs> <laughs> the janitor for the Home Depot. Not even related to crime at all. It's not even in the same zip code. There are people that like Skittles more. There, no, there's not. <laughs> I'm married to one. Well, maybe you should look to change that, Dave, because that's <laughs> real bad. It's she actually doesn't like chocolate that much, so I think that's part of it. So. Well, that's strike two. Uh, I mean, it <laughs> actually makes it easier for me because I don't have to buy like the traditional. Oh, I'm gonna buy her chocolates on Hall- on Valentine's Day. <laughs> buy her chocolates. Yeah, you buy on her Halloween. Skittles. <laughs> Yikes! True. That's way better. It's her preferred thing is getting skittles whenever i go to like a show like a theater <laughs> or a concert i love to get m&ms that's like my peanut m&ms one bag that's the other thing i like it's like no they're inherently not that bad for you because the bags are like pretty good size yeah i know you could buy the huge one but generally speaking you go get a little the regular bag of m&ms and you're good yeah they're like 250 calories or something yeah and like a snickers bar yeah those are good but those are like really bad for you yeah all right so i guess we'll just name off M and M's does win for me too, so I'm with you on that. But, I wonder how uh, many like so like you mentioned the thing about people who don't like chocolate, which is fair. I wonder how many people who do like chocolate would choose Skittles over M and M's. It has to be like ten percent. Yeah, I mean regular M and M's, it, it would be close because there's not a whole lot there. But yeah. no one gets regular M and M's anyways. So what is the best M M&M? and M? Peanut. Peanut is by far the best because peanut butter for me is the absolute best M M&M and M that can be out there. I it's used so to good. like peanut butter more than peanut, although peanut was number two. But then I ate too many Reese's peanut butter cups in eighth grade, and now any kind of like <laughs> artificial peanut butter flavor just ruins everything for me. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I like Reese's, but not that much. Hmm. I like, I like the chocolate day. in the Reese's more than the f- peanut butter. Well, you should get the holiday themed ones then. Those are the ones I still like. Like the Christmas tree ones or the pumpkins or the Easter egg ones, all the holiday themed ones, because it's a different balance of chocolate to peanut butter. Oh, okay. It's more chocolate there. Yep. You, you would like those more. Man. But nowadays, like if I'm going to splurge on chocolate, then, and this is my issue too, I'm going to get like C's candy or something like that's really good Lindor's. chocolate. The yeah. Lindor's. Those yes. are so good. I'm not going to waste it on <laughs> any of the store bought thing, generally speaking. I, I would consider M&M's, but like. Uh, Snickers ice cream bar is maybe the best thing that's ever been created. Mm-hmm. Most important, best tasting, uh, most influential uh, Snickers ice cream bar. But I haven't eaten one in years because it's so bad. Mm. Those are delicious. Those and uh, Milky Way bars. Milky Way ice cream bar is delicious too. Caramel I've never had Milky anything. Way ice cream bar. Mm, I think I've Caramel on one. anything is so good. Man, I've never been so happy as I was when I was 290 pounds. <laughs> Sean, they say nothing feels, nothing tastes as good as fit as thin feels. That's not, not true. I promise you, <laughs> eating whatever you want feels really good. In the moment. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wasted it though. All I, I really used it on like pizza and McDonald's and mm-hmm. Sonic and Buffalo Wild Wings and Buffalo Wild. Well, yeah, to an extent, but like even by then, I was shedding the fat phase. Yeah. Uh, when I was doing that with Chris, that was like me being more in shape. So imagine yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Imagine, if you will, a world where mm-hmm. me being in shape involves 30 wings and a cake. <laughs> imagine what the not in shape was. Because Sean hasn't 
wasn't as trimmed then as he is now, but he was. I've never, I never really known him when he was more heavy set. Mm-hmm. I met him only after that. You're skinnier, you're, you're skinnier now than you were then when I met you, but I don't know the Sean from back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, I, well, right I, I t- 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 went to my soccer, popped my hit on my hip on my leg. Ooh. Because I think all the extra weight going around and my body wasn't used to it. Anyways, oh, that's all the that's all the the death match I had. It was not supposed to be as uh, long of a show as normal. Uh, so, well, I didn't think that was that long. We've only been going for like twenty minutes. That's not Ooh. true. How long have we been going for? Thirty four minutes and fifty nine hey, seconds. Hey, oh, you got us there, Dave. We want at least a minimum of thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was super boring, so I'll just accept the fact. That I don't think it was boring, play. but you gotta you gotta have the the context. Here's why I went with it, because. Uh, Donald Trump's favorite ice cream is cookies and cream, and Fidel Castro's favorite ice cream was uh, cookie dough. So he's calling me a communist. <laughs> no, he's not exactly. You, to, you have to really sell it, is what he's saying. You yeah. Can't, <laughs> you can't be like, well, this is cookies and cream and cookie dough. Yeah, you can be like, oh, you know, I woke up the other night. It's a difficult decision. Yeah, but there has to be like an extra layer, is, is what I'm saying. Getting tips on 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 air of how to plan a better show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, you didn't do bad. If it was so bad, we wouldn't give you tips. We would just say you're done. <laughs> you're never Drop planning another show just again. Stop. You can plan a show. We just, you know, room Try for improvement. Time. <laughs> it turns out that there could be a reason why some of these topics have sat in the planner for five years. <laughs> and but one of know, those reasons might be that we never selected them, given the myriad opportunities to do so. But but Dave. <laughs> It's a good start, and we've cleared out our cash a little bit. All right. We can keep going over shitty topics for the next few weeks. <laughs> no, it's good. I like, you know, it was fun. The return to the simplicity of earlier times. There are some of these that will never see the light of day, and Dave, you didn't delete the two that you used, so we might accidentally use them again down the road. Uh-oh. Live criticism. Um, there are some down here that we'll probably never use. I don't know why they're down here. And I'm just going to read a few of them so the audience understands the things that we're not subjecting you to. For example, black versus white. Lightning round. Uh, salt versus pepper. Probably never going to get done. Salt. 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 Yeah, why wouldn't it be salt? It's, it's the dumbest thing. I even, yeah. I like pepper. And I try yeah. and use more pepper now, so I'm eating less salt. But I would take salt in a heartbeat. Uh, what was the other one? It was dumb. Oh, uh, thunder versus lightning. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, Which one's better? Lightning. I guess thunder because it doesn't strike people and kill them. No, lightning's thunder. cool. It's all bright. Dave, you're the uh, tiebreaker. Hurry up, lightning round. Uh, thunder. <laughs> thunder, <laughs> thunder is better because it's it sounds it just sounds cool when it comes rolling in. Fine. Algebra versus geometry. <laughs> algebra. Algebra. No geometry. No algebra. You no. just disagreed with me. That's it. That's no all you geometry is better, and so is like physics. I liked mm-hmm. both. I think I would pick algebra. Algebra over geometry for sure. But not algebra too. Algebra starts getting into like um, intangibles and stuff, and that that's yeah. I need like manifested math. I hated geometry. Like you had to prove something that you already know is true. Why? Right angles. That's why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello Kitty versus Barbie. Barbie. I don't know why. I I don't even understand the question, and I refuse to answer it. Black versus white is really interesting. It has some layers if you really want to dive into it. Yeah, but... I don't really. I want to just look at the colors <laughs> Right. Is what I would say. And I would say, like, I think white's cool because it reflects everything. But we can't go on air saying white's better than black. That's an issue. I like black better in design. Like, look at the bottom. Look at the black bottom with the white text. It's true. I mean, uh, that's true. You know? Every... Like if I have an option on a website of like black background with white letters versus white background with black letters, black background every time. Most no, people do. Oh, it's, you... it's less strain on your eyes. Yeah. Oh, whenever I get a black background with white letters, and then I like read something else, like that's when like it get, becomes like superimposed on the wall. Like it like burns into my eyes. Mm. Do you guys no. get that? Okay, fine. Yeah. I, don't I think know. I, I use like... a dark or black background in every single PowerPoint I ever made. Mm-hmm. It's the only way to go. I don't know why. So black's better than white. Take that, racist. Yeah, well, we're knocking <laughs> off a lot of these. This is great. Yeah, lightning round was fun. <laughs> Go-karts versus bumper boats. Go-karts. God. 
Yeah, probably go karts because you can actually race and collide with people as opposed to bumper boats where it's just colliding. Yeah, two mile an hour collisions. How bumper exciting! Boats are, bumper boats are so awful in the sense of like either you're gonna whiff on somebody because it's really hard to steer them while you're in water, or you're gonna hit them and everybody gets wet and you're just kind of annoyed. And you don't really go into that wanting to get wet. And I no. know people are like, "Well, yeah, you can when it's warm." It's like, yeah, but you're not dressed for it. No. So if you and do get soaked, you walk out of there with like the squishy sock feeling. That's like going on. Um, I went on when I was at Six Flags once. I went on one of those log rides that like splashed down and everything like that, and I got soaking wet. And since the water was probably not the cleanest, my shorts like kind of almost stiffened up that it, since they got wet, and they like gave me like this really bad uh, like rash in my leg because it rubbed against my leg. It was terrible. It's awful. It's like way too much information. Just hurt my leg. That's all you need to know. I like that. That's good. There are I some like on, that you were in pain. There are some on here that I think we would actually do still someday, like Red Vines versus Twizzlers and maybe even Black Licorice if you wanted to include it, could actually have some merit to it. There's some people mm. on both sides of that one. And like uh, Bugs Bunny versus Daffy Duck, there are some people who would take Daffy in that matchup. Hello? Me? Well, by far? Hmm. By far? far see but the, the, bugs well, only no, it's works related. no it's a good topic don't do it now okay that's what i'm saying these are too full of doing the lightning round these are still some ideas down here that i'm like oh we just never really got to those yeah. and there's stuff like chip versus dale where i'm like who fucking cares they're the same thing <laughs> one is a suck. hat they and a suck. jacket and one is a red nose and a hawaiian shirt who cares <laughs> that's it's basically all i know about it's basically that. fur coat like fur jacket like fur line jacket versus hawaiian shirt that's what you're one has on there two teeth going out the side and one has two teeth in front and dale sounds like a freak he does. <laughs> ah! So nobody wants to pick him. Anyways, those are some of the rejected buzz-offs. I'm going to leave him on the list just in case we're really desperate one day and or we want to cry out for attention. <laughs> Episode I... 769. We, we are should... really desperate. We should do Bugs versus Daffy, Mickey versus Donald, and then and third one. Uh... Scooby versus Shaggy. <laughs> That could work. Just two others where, like, we're basically pitting the second banana against the first banana. Or we do a tournament tournament where the third one is the winners of the first two. That I was thinking about that. That could definitely work. Yeah, because I mean, Mickey versus Mickey Mouse versus Bugs Bunny is its own. Look, its I've own always been a fan of Space Jam. Some of you listening to the show may know that. But... I've never heard of it. <laughs> I'm surprised how every like subsequent time I see that movie. Daffy is like better and better every time. <laughs> yeah, it turns out Bugs is an asshole. <laughs> yeah, we got cool. But oh, Daffy, yeah. like, he's funny, and he's funnier in ways that, like, I don't think I really picked up on as much when I was young watching it. Save for the show, Sean. Oh wait. Uh. <laughs> no, we'll save it for the show. It's fine. Save we'll it for back. the later show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever that show might be, Shoots and Ladders versus Candyland. Who cares? Uh, my kids. They're both terrible. Yeah, they They're are. fine games for children, but I don't care to differentiate between them. They're so boring. All righty, well, do you want to give the outro, Dave? It's your show. Yeah, please do. I gave the intro, but... Thanks, everybody, for listening to this week's episode of the Team Objection Podcast. You can find us at the sites below on Twitter, at Team Objection, on Facebook, Team Objection, and at ObjectionNetwork.com. And we never check Gmail or anything. Yeah, like I mean, maybe it. try it again oh. without it seeming like you're, like, in a, you have to go pee or something. <laughs> or, like, you're in, like, a big hurry. Have See some guys. charisma. You know, have the charisma that you have when you're just talking. You, like, put this extra, like, pressure on yourself. And you're like, okay, this is the official outro. Just be Dave. Who am I? Well, <laughs> and you can't do it now because you've already done <laughs> it and it's late. over. But for next time, do you, like, slow down, really sell it, you know? Like, I always try and sound at least somewhat excited or at least interested in the outro, but do you think I actually care after this many times of reading it? Yes, and that's the secret, Dave. <laughs> he does. How many times do I have to say our Twitter account that no one fucking cares about? I'm wondering if this episode is just going to be called, Let's Teach Dave Some Things. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. What Don't you want to learn for the future podcast when we each go and do our own podcasts and then we do crossover episodes three times a year, just like the CW? God, I figured after 407 episodes I would have figured it out, but apparently not. No. Well, yeah, but how many of you introed, planned, uh, segued, and outroed? Three. I don't even know if that's true. I honestly don't know how many you've done the whole thing like this. The whole thing, not many. He plans a decent amount back in the day. You've planned, yeah, sure. But I think you like be it being the Dave show. This is new. 
Sean has jokingly, well, maybe not jokingly, you can tell me if it was a joke or not, tried to step in on some intros and outros. It usually goes poorly. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) it's kind of a bit. Yeah, that's the thing. If we want a good outro and intro, we just have you do it. If we want something different, then I do it. (laughs) Uh, Close this out, Chris. Do it. You already did. (laughs) It's over. We stopped recording two minutes ago. Except it's still going. The listeners are probably very confused. And there's no outro song anymore, so we have nothing left. We just end the episode.